What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the Raid Wonders channel. Nice quick video tonight. Breaking news just came out earlier today that Levi Ives has left Clinville. I'm going to give my thoughts on this, give my thoughts on the money, what we're going to do with it and what of a loss this is for the club. But let's get into it. Ives has went to Lauren for Shamley Grand. Uh, I think this is a good deal for both parties because Ives gets his move and Clinville get a good amount of money. But there was a report that came out, I think it was two weeks ago, saying that apparently he was done already for the Lord for O'Neill and Michal Glynn. I actually would have preferred that than the 70 grand because I think Michal Glynn's a top quality left back. I know Paul O'Neill didn't work under Paddy McLaughlin, but you never know, he could have worked under Jim McJilton. But I didn't make a video on it, but we did just go out and sign a striker. I think his name's Ben Wilson from Brighton. I think he played on Saturday against Bally Clare. Uh, but this 70 grand has to be spent on something good, it has to be, we need a left back, Steve McGuinness is alright, but we need a left back desperately, uh, other areas, we need, I don't know, I don't think we need North centre half, if Casey's going to play centre half, but I guess support, against Porter Down, he didn't play centre half, he played CDM, Shannon Foster played centre half, I don't know why, but uh, I don't think we need any more forwards. I think we're stacked in forward positions. Even though we got rid of Sean Murr, Malin's going to come back. Uh, Ryan Curran's still there. I don't even know if he'll be here at the end of the summer. But uh, I think we need probably a new left, definitely a new left back, probably a new right back as well. Because we've got, obviously got the keeper as well. But we need players challenging for positions. And because if people are just there, like, Look at players last season like Gartzell or maybe Chris Lowe at the end of the season weren't at their best because they weren't being challenged enough in their position. But I think this is good for both. I think the Reds have to spend their money soon because this Liverpool game coming up on the 5th of August, that one's there. We, we need a strong side out. If we're going to be by Porta down here on Saturday, got to be 4 0 by Ballon We need We need a big, a big revamp of players. Crawl in May. It came out that Levi Ives wouldn't leave a lot, wouldn't leave Clinwell to join Lauren, which is obviously just a load of rubbish. But I retweeted or quote tweeted it saying that basically saying that Levi Ives is one of our best players and he won't leave, uh, or I see him as a future captain of Clinwell, which uh, until he left, I still did see him as a future captain of Clinwell. He's captain of Clinwell a lot this season, but or not a lot this season, but just a lot in general because he was injured for most of the season. but uh then Kenny Bruce liked that tweet, which probably means it was definitely going to happen. Uh, oh, it's just going to tough, because I loved watching Levi Ives as a player. Some of his free kicks, which I'll show on here, against Carrick, against Lauren, against Glen Alvin last year, or two seasons ago on New Year's Day. It was unbelievable. What a player. And to be honest, I see a lot of fans being like, oh, Judas, all this, oh, um, money grabbing. But I actually... I think it's a bit better move for Levi Ives because he's obviously unhappy at the club. We don't want an unhappy player at the club sitting on the bench on a decent wage. Not, well, yeah, a decent wage, but he'll obviously be getting more at Lauren. But it, I think it's just better for both. Uh, I think he'll do really well at Lauren. Fits right in there. He'll fight with Aaron Donnelly and Michal Glenn. That's mad. That's, just, that's another thing we need to talk about. What are Lauren going to do now? Because their squad depth's unbelievable. Uh... Will they go on and win it again? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see between them two and the Glens because both of them have signed so many players and look like they're not done either. I give my thoughts on Levi to Lauren. Uh, I'm not too annoyed at it, but I would I would have liked to have seen him stay, but not stay unhappy. But hopefully he does well at Lauren. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Cheers for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.